Hi, I'm Andre, I'm a black nerd with another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles episode recap. Turtle power. The weird world of Worm, the turtles are still in space. They start off in this hologram simulator where they get to fight all three versions of Chris Bradford. They fight human Chris Bradford, they fight Razar, and they fight Dog Pound. It's nice to see a return of Dog Pound. And speaking of Chris Bradford, we finally get to see the first episode of the cartoon within the cartoon with the season. So if you've been keeping up with the show, you know that every season they've had a cartoon show that the turtles watch. It is always sort of a parody of old school cartoons shows and this one so we find out that Chris Bradford actually had his own cartoon show and it is a total <laughs> sorry I'm just it's so funny <laughs> It's basically Chuck Norris Karate Commandos mixed with the Mr. T cartoon. It's Chris Bradford as a cartoon, and there's a guy on the team called Master C, and there's a sumo and a little kid, and it's like, oh my gosh, this is hilarious. <laughs> this was during that era. There was a time when action stars just all had cartoon shows for some reason, and I love it. I can't wait to see more episodes of this, and I love that they even did a thing where Chris Bradford, the actual Chris Bradford, does a video before, because that's how they were doing those cartoons. They would have the actual actor do like a video, a live action video before that would all be so weird and they even show it in this one where he's like he can't act thumbs up thumbs up for just that <laughs> so the turtles find an abandoned ship they all go inside of it Casey is bored he's like I wish this got more exciting and then that led to a bunch of space zombies trying to take them out they get out of Dodge but in the process of doing so Casey Jones finds this little small thing called the hypercube hopefully it's not the all spark or we're going into a completely different franchise entirely future toys like give me that you don't need that Casey Jones this is bad stuff let me put this away but of course Casey Jones isn't listening to anybody so Casey Jones is gonna go down to the basement and Casey Jones is gonna get the hypercube and Casey Jones is gonna open it this is so metal and he releases worm worm is a character that was a toy back in the Ninja Turtles toy line back in the 80s and I'm sure he'll be a toy once again very soon and he's basically an all-powerful genie he can grant you three wishes and he's kind of like a blend between the genie of Aladdin and Beetlejuice like if they had an evil baby mr. Casey Jones sir have a wish short two or three. I'm in the mood, cowbunga dude. You ain't never met a worm like me. Ha! <laughs> had to do it. Casey already used his first wish. He wished for something exciting to happen and that's why they had the space zombies so the other turtles in April were mad at him. They're trying to figure out what their other wishes should be. They're thinking maybe we can use this to stop the Triceratons and bring world peace but Casey Jones just wants to get free stuff and Donatello accidentally says, oh I wish you were smarter. I wish you weren't so dumb and then Worm's like, oh you just made a wish. So Casey Jones becomes like this blue Dr. Manhattan but Luckily, he kept his clothes on, and he just knows everything. Future Toy walks in and is like, wait, wait, wait. Do not make that third wish. We find out that Worm is one of the three creators of chaos who live in the fifth dimension. And if you grant all three wishes, it sets them free, which allows them to rule the universe. So Turtles are like, we're not going to do another wish. Worm's like, you go make that third wish. And then that's when it becomes crazy town with Worm being able to turn his hand into hammers, swallow lasers and fart them out, wraps the turtles up into a giant ball, throws them, and then hits them with a baseball bat. Like I said, it's totally total like a Latin Beetlejuice, the mask, all that like combined right now as Worm. And I loved it. Raphael accidentally makes the third wish. He wishes for a weapon to shoot at Worm, but it doesn't work because one of the Worm's rules of wishing is that you can't make a wish to hurt Worm. But it's enough of a wish to get him free. He's released from his hypercube and that's what creates the next two sequences in this episode, which were just freaking amazing. First, you have Worm conducting a symphony orchestra ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba, while you just watch planets and stars just explode all over the place. The turtles even have on their face like, what? He's just like, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -da -da, boom. And Worm just keeps going, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -ba, boom, planet destroyed, boom, planet destroyed, boom, stars leaving the universe, the sky is just pitch black. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is insane. I love it. So it can't get any crazier than this, right? Then Casey Jones decides, hey, I'm the smartest one in the world and Worm's now free and has all the power. I think I'm gonna team up with him and they create this whole holographic world where it's all little Casey Jones running around, like multiple Casey Jones. It's like Casey Jones gremlins, Joneslands. <laughs> and then there's a giant 50 foot Casey Jones. All these little Casey Joneses. Casey Jones tricks Worm. He's like, give me one more wish so I can take these turtles out. Worm gives him an extra wish. And Casey Jones uses the extra wish to say, I wish I never found the hypercube. No! Worm goes back, none of it ever happened. Deja vu. The thing about genie episodes is they usually always end the same. They usually always end with the character going, I wish it never happened, and then it doesn't happen. So that felt like something I've seen before. And what I learned from the internet is it really looks like something that some of you 
seen before, almost to a T. Um, okay, oh, can I do this? Super robot, no, super monkey, wait. Super monkey robot team hyper horoscope. Super, super robot. I knew I was gonna mess this up. Super monkey robot team hyperforce go, right? So super robot monkey, god dang it. Super monkey robot team hyperforce go had an episode called Meet the Wiggle Nog, and it's basically the exact same episode. They meet a character called the Wiggle Nog. He's trapped in a cube. They can't get out until he makes all three wishes. Someone wishes for excitement. Someone wishes for someone to be smarter. They get smarter. Someone wishes for a gun to take him out. Doesn't work. Smart person gets on his side, asks for extra wish. It's the exact same plot. But it goes deeper than that, y'all. Super Monkey Robot Team Hyperforce Go was executive produced by Ciro Nielli, who is the executive producer of this show. And that episode, Meet the Wiggle Nog, was written by Brandon Allman, who was executive producer and head writer on this show. And at the screen when Future Toy mentions that Worm is one of the three creators of Chaos, look at the one in the middle. That's Wiggle Nog right there. We have cracked a cartoon conspiracy or a copycat. So clearly I'm guessing this was like a tribute, like okay, we love the genie scenario, but now we have a little bit more of an animation budget with this show than we did with the monkey robots, and so we can do a little bit more with it. So that's okay, it's just kind of funny that it's not so much a tribute as it's just literally the exact same episode. <laughs> like they literally just took the old script for the mo monkey show and just was like, okay, everywhere you see monkey, just cross it out, right, turtle. <laughs> Done. At least I hope it's a tribute. I really hope the guy that wrote this episode was and like, oh, I found this old script. Let me just use this episode. And Cyril and Brandon just look at him like, for real? Like, you really, you really trying to pass this by us? Fun episode. The, it, it, this is going good. It's just, you know, there's only six months, guys. You mean, like, like, you guys, uh, you guys went to the planets to buy some stuff. You guys are hanging out with Worm, getting love from Mona Lisa. I'm just saying, your Earth needs to be saved in like six months. You, you might want to get a moving. Not to mention you gotta take a week off for the Half Shell Heroes. Get to work! Let me know what you thought about this episode and if Worm gave you a wish, what would your wish be? If you're new here, please subscribe to Black Nerd Comedy. I make new videos every week, including Ninja Turtle recaps. I love you like a play cousin. I'm out of 5,000. Chain Chomp. Yeah.